Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today's video is all about just a satisfying and relaxing cleaning. I feel like so many times we're such in a hurry to do everything. We're in a hurry when we're going somewhere, we're in a hurry getting ready, we're in a hurry cleaning. And sometimes it's just nice to be reminded to like slow down. You can still be productive, you can still get stuff done, but I'm hoping this music will just kind of calm your soul and help you figure out a new pace. I know we can't clean like this all the time, but occasionally we just need to slow down, clean, and just kind of enjoy the moment. There is a star falling in the dark. Just who we are Isn't that who we are? I honestly do find that cleaning can be relaxing and satisfying if you slow it down. If you think of it as just relaxing and working on your home for your family and it not be this like I'm in a hurry all of this has to get done and just like that panic mode but if you'll just slow down doing the laundry isn't all that bad if you turn on some good music that you enjoy even if it's not relaxing if it's just your style music and you just think happy thoughts and like I said just kind of slow the motion down it really can be relaxing and the satisfying feeling is when you're done cleaning and you have a clean house and it doesn't feel like you've had this huge workout. It doesn't feel like you've been panicked the whole time doing it. Everybody Drifting away, leaving those shadows under. First step out of the maze, follow the path and wander. And we go, we go with no illusion. I know every time we clean, it can't be the slow motion relaxing. Sometimes we have to get stuff done. So it's nice to have all different types of cleaning routines, but maybe you have a slow Sunday, maybe it's the evening and you have it free and you can work on your house. Maybe it's a rainy day where you are. Just turn on some soothing music, make a list that's reasonable. Don't make this huge list where you feel rushed, but pick the top things that you want to get done that will make you feel accomplished and just get those done in a short amount of time or just take all day doing it. It doesn't have to be this mad dash of getting stuff done. I'm all about the speed cleanings. I do them often, but I just really wanted to encourage just slowing down sometimes. I think in today's world, it's just pushing us to do more during the day, go faster. I feel like even standing in lines, people can't be patient anymore. If there's only like one cashier, everybody's like tapping their foot and looking at their watch. We're just in this motion of like fast, fast, more, more. And when you take a moment to slow down, whether it's cleaning or not, you really do realize like life is okay. You don't have to be in this mad dash hurry all the time.
I decided to go ahead and switch gears. While I was vacuuming, I noticed my like tile wood floors were actually pretty dirty. We've had a lot of rain here and the boys were tracking in mud. So I wanted to go ahead and just switch it up so I could vacuum and mop at the same time. Um, this little cleaning tool has been like a game changer for me in my house. Just trying to keep up with my floors have been a lot more work in this house than the last house. It's totally not sponsored. They've sponsored me in the past, but I really do use this like every other day or every couple days. I feel like it's so easy to pull out and my house is just smelling cleaner because the floors are staying cleaner and it's just cut it in half my time cleaning because I don't have to vacuum and then mop. I can just do it all at once. Um, just another little thing that's really helped like keep me from cleaning as much is moving my dining room rug. It was fine with the food, but it was like a light color. And with the boys running in and out during winter time, there was just a lot of mud. So I don't know if I'll bring it back in over the summer, but as of right now, I'm just loving being able to like vacuum a mop or sweep underneath here and not have to like shampoo all the carpets in my house all the time. I didn't realize until I was editing this video how much grass is underneath my sofa right there. Definitely when I get done working on this video, that's going to be the first place I go and clean. I just had no idea. But I will say George just brings in so much dead grass. He goes outside and like rolls around in it. And then he likes to lean up against the sectional. So I'll have to just grab a vacuum or something and get that cleaned up. Vacuuming and mopping to me is just a calming chore. I feel like you can make it super fast and be in a rush, but you can also just slow down. And there's something so calming about like cleaning underneath chairs and around plants, like just getting all of that dust and dirt that like tends to hide. Um, so I really enjoy it. Vacuum lines make me calm. So anytime I'm trying to like slow down and just get the house clean, I feel like floors are just a major way to do it. Your house is going to smell so much better and it's going to look so much cleaner when there's like nothing on your floors and they're nice and shiny. Now I'm going to work on watering my plants. This is something I actually enjoy doing, but I rarely do it. So I am not a plant lady. I have like a handful of them. Somehow I haven't killed them. And the only plant I can keep alive are these snake plants. So if you're a beginner or want to be a plant lady, but don't know where to start, I highly suggest um, the snake plants. Um, they also call it like mother-in-law's tongue, but basically you can't kill them as long as they have a little bit of light and I swear I only water them like once every three months and they are thriving so it's definitely a good place to start if you're wanting the benefits from like fresh plants in your house I 
I don't know if it's just me, but having my coffee pods and this like organizer in the drawer is so satisfying to me. I personally don't even drink coffee, but I love to open up the drawer and see it's like halfway empty so I can go and like put the pods into the little holders and I feel like it looks so nice when you like pull it out. There's something so relaxing and satisfying about organization and opening up cabinets or drawers or closets and having them like so organized and everything in its spot. So if you love organizational videos, I have a ton on here if you're new. I really don't enjoy cleaning windows, especially when they're really tall like this. Like if I have to go grab my um, little step stool, I feel like it prevents me from cleaning them as often as I really should. And I'm gonna be working on the outside soon because I cannot keep them clean. It's super windy in Oklahoma. There's lots of construction going on around me, but I bought this tool or gadget I wanna try out. So stay tuned for that. It'll probably be in like my outdoor, like home projects, spring cleaning, something like that, but it'll be coming out. As soon as it'll stay warm here and quit being super windy, I'm gonna film it. I've had it on my schedule to film for like three weeks, but our weather has been intense here lately. So I'll eventually work on that. But as of today, we're just gonna work on the inside. As much as I don't enjoy cleaning windows, I love when they're clean and I can just see straight outside. I can see the grass, the trees, all of the good stuff and I don't see dirt or fingerprints or anything like that. So it's always worth doing and I'm happy when I have it finished. When things go dark, I'll be where you are. We can make it if you want to. Let's play this out like it's forever, ever, ever, yeah. You and me together, yeah. There ain't nothing better, yeah. Let's hold this like it's now and ever, 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 yeah. You and me are tethered like forever, ever, ever, yeah. Crawling into fresh sheets at the end of the day is also relaxing as well. And so I do that for my daughter too. So this is her space if you're new here. Um, I will say I haven't switched over her sheets yet. So this um, one right here is still like a jersey material. It's kind of got some warmth to it, but she doesn't like having the top sheet. It just bugs her, it gets messy, and she doesn't like making her bed with it. So I just put this one on and then you'll see I just immediately put on her white comforter and it has worked out so well. Like. I love having my sheet on my bed, but if you have kids and they just like mess up the sheets really bad or you're having them learn how to make their own bed, I highly suggest just like tossing the top sheet because it has made life so much easier without it. Just a little tip, if you're buying a new comforter or you have issues with the ones you have, 
anymore, I feel like comforters don't cover the whole mattress. Like you're pulling it from one side and it doesn't cover the other. So I've learned to either buy something that says oversized on it or just buy it a whole size up so it drapes over all the corners of the bed. And I've had such better luck that way. So if that's a struggle, I just wanted to share that tip because it makes making the bed so much easier. So if you're trying to get on this like satisfying and relaxing mood more throughout your daily schedule, I feel like white bedding and neutrals are so calming. Not that you can't have a pop of color in there, but ever since I've switched us over to like white bedding, it is so calming, it is so freeing. If I wanna switch out the pillows or the wall art or plants, I don't have to switch out my bedding. So making that switch has been huge and I feel like it makes the space really calming as well. I feel like all of us need to slow down or the majority of us and it's hard to find like what to cut or where to cut it start thinking about like the things that trigger you or the things that drive you crazy on a daily basis and see if you can take that out if it's just a top sheet in a kid's room take it out if there's too many like pillows or decor items on a bed and you hate making your bed every day take them out like get back to the basics and just make things so much easier and lighter on your load. I feel like we get in these routines or this rut of like we have to do all of this because we started it but if there's something you can cut out of your routine or maybe it's adding something to your routine that you're not doing now or maybe it's buying something that's going to help the mornings go smoother or cleaning go smoother or whatever it is. I feel like there's so many different tools out there now that can help us and I feel like sometimes we just need to cut back. So just figure out what area of your life you need help in and try to find a solution and it will make your days go so much smoother. I think we forget we don't have to live every day so stressful. It just becomes so normal that we forget to stop and make changes. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some motivation just to slow down your change of pace. Even if it's just for one time cleaning your house, it is just nice to kind of calm down and slow things down. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you know somebody that would enjoy this video, I'd love for you to share it with them. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Sing.